How's it going everyone? Welcome back to Boilai Hobby Time. I had a leftover lightsaber from a Darth Vader model put together a little while ago. Also have one of these little LED filaments. This one glows bright red and a little glass dome. Decided to combine them and make something fun this week. I started by drilling a hole in the end of the lightsaber. That way I could hide the connection point and the little dark spot on the end of the filament. Then connected it to some wires. The first one I connected to one end, then I bent it back and ran it along the length of the filament. So from the correct viewing angle, the wire is invisible. From the incorrect viewing angle, it is very visible. But I figured that this thing would be sitting on a shelf and mostly looked at from one direction, so wasn't too concerned about that. Then connected it to the other wire and moved on to the painting. I started with a metallic silver spray paint and I went back over all of the black details with a glossy black. I also added a few buttons and wires which aren't very visible in the end result but were still fun to do. Then it was time to move on to the base. I'm going to be using the battery housing and switch from this tea light candle. I know you can get these parts elsewhere but I have so many of these tea lights, might as well use them. I use my stylo wren to carve a hole in the cork, and it's not perfect, but it fits, and that's the most important thing. I needed to make sure that this had a way of staying upright while it was curing, so I made a little base out of some styrene. I also needed to know the volume of epoxy to use, so I first measured it out with some water, poured that into a Pyrex measuring glass. It was just about 200 milliliters. Then I moved on to the little piece of terrain that would sit on the base. I started with a piece of foam, carved that down into a little circle using a knife, and then I smoothed it round with some sandpaper. Then I carved some more foam down into a little rock that the lightsaber would be lodged into. I used some tin foil to give it some texture. I then used some hot glue to glue the rock to the foam disc and the foam disc to the base. I then applied some thick scenic glue and spread that out with a paintbrush before adding some pebbles, some coarse sand, and some fine sand. And to seal that all together I used some watered down glue. And to help the glue spread out a little bit better, I used some isopropyl alcohol. To protect all of the foam from the spray-on primer, I used some Mod Podge. I then used a toothpick to drill a pilot hole through the foam. I used the Dremel to make that hole a little bigger, and I reinforced it with a little brass tube. After that, I primed it with black, and then I gave it a xenothal highlight, and then I started adding some washes. I started with a black wash, then I dabbed that off with a paper towel, and I added some brown around the base before giving it a quick dry brush. Then I masked off the sides, I sprayed it with a spray adhesive, and I used some fake snow to give it a dusting of snow. Then peeled off the masking tape and I painted these sides with a black 3.0. Then it was time to finish up the wiring. This wire goes right down and rests on the negative terminal of the battery. The other one goes to the switch which is connected to the positive terminal of the battery. Ran the filament up through the rock before gluing the housing in place. And after that was set, I glued the handle of the lightsaber in place. At this point, I probably could have stopped. It looked pretty good. I probably should have stopped, but I wanted to see what it would look like submerging in resin, so I did that. 
Working with resin and doing surgery are very similar in that they should both be done while wearing gloves. I pre-measured the volumes needed for both the hardener and the resin on these coffee cups. I mixed them together and I stirred them thoroughly. I gave the lightsaber and the base a coat of the resin to try and prevent bubbles. Then I poured the resin into the glass. It was pretty bubbly so I moved it back and forth between the glass and the cup, popping the bubbles with a torch. After about 15 minutes it was perfectly clear. I then flipped over the lightsaber and the base, pressed them down into the resin, and I waited for 48 hours. Two days later it was finally cured and time to remove the styrene. The styrene got a little bit stuck so I had to peel that off, which was actually pretty satisfying. Unfortunately, a large bubble formed right down on the edge of the glass by the base. I went back and filled that in with a syringe and some more resin. So I'm not calling it perfect, but I am calling it good. I know there are many people out there who may look at this and say, that's not very realistic. Whenever I stick my lightsaber in a rock, it goes right through, it doesn't just sit there like Excalibur. And I get that, it's not very realistic, but I think it's kind of fun. I'm also going to be giving this away, so if you want a chance to have this, all you have to do is like this video, be subscribed to my channel, and leave a comment below saying, this is not very realistic. That's the end of this video everyone, thank you so much for watching, have a great week, I'll see you next time.